Hi, I'm Meredith Hodges, and welcome to the Lucky Three Ranch Training Tips. One of the most strenuous and demanding forms of jumping is cross country. Still, it's as exhilarating as it is challenging. Combined training is just one of many equine sports that involve cross country jumping. The phases of three day eventing are dressage, cross country, and stadium jumping. Each phase is scored individually and the scores are combined for the final results. There are several levels in combined training competitions. They include pre-novice, novice, training, and preliminary levels. You will enter the level appropriate for your animal's experience and training. Ordinarily, you would enter one level below the level at which you are schooling. The jumps on the cross-country course are flagged according to level. Most courses are about three miles long and consist of 20 or so jumps. Each level calls for a different galloping speed, and the jumps for your division are flagged. When training your equine, don't just practice jumping. Learn to rate his speed by feel, by getting yourself a good stopwatch and learn how to use it. Remember that it's not the fastest competitor on the cross-country course who wins. Rather, it's the one who comes in closest to the optimum time set by the officials. When schooling for cross-country, it's essential to have a coach. Like many sports, cross-country riding has inherent dangers and your coach will make sure you train in the safest possible manner. Good equitation is absolutely essential in cross-country jumping. Your coach will make sure your equitation helps your equine as he learns how to negotiate a cross-country course. Your coach will also introduce you to others with similar interests. Wearing the proper protective gear will help you and your equine avoid serious injury. Although protective vests are optional, it is strongly advised that you always wear one when going cross-country. You never know what might happen and a protective vest may even save your life. Of course, show management will not let you compete without an approved regulation helmet. And again, let me emphasize the importance of making sure everything is in good repair, properly fitting tack, and the right bit for control. Make sure both you and your equine are adequately protected during training and in competition. It is especially important that your equine has the right equipment to protect his legs. Cross-country jumping helps strengthen you and your equine and will fine-tune his overall performance in all events. <music>